and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom and this is going to be my update for October 2018. I actually got quite a lot to show you this month uh, for a number of reasons, but we'll get to it. So before we get into the film, just to cut on the bits I picked up. Uh, so I couldn't pick up the odd Funko Pop here and there and I got this one for relatively cheap. And this is a variant on the Trap Jewel figure. Exclusive to somewhere or another. I got this on eBay, but it wasn't the very much. So uh, I wasn't going to get this because it's not the proper colour scheme, but uh, it was so cheap I thought I would pit it up. And then the other thing I got was um, something when I saw my Venom uh, movie review. When I saw that, I got like they gave me like a free comic um, exclusive to the obviously the premiere night of uh, that movie. So that is the Venom comic. So let's talk about some of the films. So we're going to start off with the uh, the DVDs, and the first one we'll talk about is this weird looking box set. So this is a German box set, and I wouldn't normally buy DVDs. I'm trying to kind of like steer clear of DVDs as much as I can, but um, I, I want. I've been on a bit of a 80s fantasy movie um, free spree at the moment, and I wanted to review Wizards of the Lost Kingdom 2. And I could not find it. The only way I could find it was on this box set. I've not been able to find a, uh, you know, singular DVD. So this one has got the original um, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom, which I think I've already reviewed. Wizards of the Lost Kingdom 2. I think it's got, like, Planet of the Dinosaurs and Raptor on it as well. So, uh, yes, yeah, so the only way I could find Wizards of the Lost Kingdom 2. So I had to buy this box set. So that's that one. The other DVDs that I've got are ones that are have quotes on from reviews that I've done. Uh, this one is uh, this one was reviewed by Lisa Loves from the on Lisa Loves channel, and so her first uh, review that she's done for me that's got quotes. So you know she's got here this RV is killer. There's a quote on the bottom there, and I think there's one towards the back. Next one was one from Paul from Buckaroo Banzai. And uh, yeah, he's got one on here somewhere. I think it's at the back. Uh, yeah, the top here. Quote from Paul from Buckaroo Banzai. Alien Siege. Uh, Terrible 2. I reviewed this one ages ago, but it's only, the, the movie's only just come out. So I mean, this is probably a year ago that I reviewed this. This is how long it sometimes takes before you know, I get a screen until the when the film comes out. And uh, again, got a quote on the back there. That's me to do that one. Uh, and then uh, we have this one here, uh, which is a kind of kids film. I think it was me. And uh, yeah, got a quote there. And I think there's one on the back. Yep. Next one is Curse of the Nun. This, rev this my review of this has gone has, has blown up actually and has got loads of views for some reason. Uh, and uh, there you go. Yeah. So got a quote on the top there. Uh, do you like that pun? Nice. I did too. And then there's one on the back. And then finally one from Paul, and this was done a while ago as well. And uh, yeah, there is a quote somewhere on here on the bottom. Full Metal Mayhem. I think it is a, yes, that's it. So there you go, so that's the quote. So now let's look at some Blu-rays. So just a couple of, re of regular Blu-rays first of all. I've been kind of uh, wanting to kind of like get some sharp flicks. So Deep Blue Sea, uh, just one I picked up from eBay. Um, Kroll, this, you can't actually get this in the UK, so I had to get a Spanish version. There's an American version, I believe. I didn't want to get a Region A one. Uh, so this is the Spanish version of Kroll, so I can actually watch it in my player. It seems to play some Region A's, but not everyone. And then I bought, well, no, I was given a load of Blu-rays from someone. So I actually donated some to the uh, uh, Blu-ray Bullet Brit channel, who's giving a, doing, doing a uh, giveaway, but I kept some. So this is one of them. I'm not really, there was loads of comedy films and sort of chick flicks and I'm not really into them, but I did give a couple of ones that I kind of thought was okay. All the Sasha Baron Cohen stuff. Some of these are ex-rentals. Yeah, I'm not a huge, um, not a huge comedy person in regards to buying them. I like watching them, but 
I very rarely buy them. So these ones are all given to me. And there's that. Okay. And then I I want a lot on eBay of like uh, some limited edition Blu-rays and uh, again for not not a lot of money. So this is the first one. So this is Interstellar uh, Media Book. Haven't actually seen this film, to be honest. There you go. And then we get into some still books. First one is the Pacific Rim 3D. Uh, this is the Terminator 2 uh, Skynet edition, I think this is. Although I swear I bought this for a present for someone and the cover was silver, but there you go. Olympus Has Fallen, which I thought was a, a fun little movie, this one. I know people that kind of like don't really like it, but I, I enjoyed this film. This, this is all from the same lot, this is all from the same eBay purchase. Uh, I got Skyfall, and I've already got this one, it's the only double I had. This, my, this one's in better condition than the one I've got, so I'll probably keep that one in and then just give away the other one. Still on the same eBay kind of bundle, I got like £25. Uh, the Last Stand, German, Blu-ray, a still book. Again, I haven't seen this one. And then finally, from that one eBay uh, lot, I got Man on Fire, which is a really decent uh, Denzel Washington sort of man on a mission action movie. Okay, now we come on to what I think is the coolest stuff. All right, this one here. This is probably my most expensive purchase for the month, and this is a Japanese HMV exclusive of the movie Rampage. This is the still book uh, that was only uh, in Japan, and even in Japan it was only in HMV, a specific retailer, which then sold out. Now, um, I just love the artwork, because they're more interested in the monsters and stuff than they are in Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I just love this kind of classic kind of like uh, monster artwork from this um, for this cover. I, I enjoyed the movie; it was okay, and I don't think it was amazing. But this is one of these instances where just the art and the still book was so good. I definitely wanted to get it. So that's a 4K one. Don't have a 4K player, so it's staying in its string wrap. Uh, and then this is a french gi joe the rise of cobra uh still book i had the second movie and again i saw it on ebay for not a lot of money so i thought i'd pick up the first one even though i think the second one is a lot better uh picked up uh mystery men on the blu-ray still book i you know i like it's a good superhero movie and this is i love to try and get like um at least one copy of uh, of uh, movies, superhero movies. This is a, I'm not quite sure where this is from, possibly German uh, still book. Um, again, I got it from eBay and again from fairly cheap. I picked up the American Evil Dead still book, very similar to the UK one, the same artwork, but of a kind of different sort of writing on it, different logo and uh, different kind of color scheme, but the same graphics. That is the American version of Evil Dead Steelbook. Then we have the German version of the Evil Dead Steelbook. Uh, obviously, you've got the German translation there, but they consider a different cover. Um, there you go. Go away for these new. Okay, now we're going to move on to some Marvel stuff. Uh, first up for the Marvel stuff, we have the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2 still books. They are releasing these in sort of quick succession. Uh, but they're still releasing the kind of the digipact as well, and then a little bit later they release the still books. I'm not really a huge fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's okay, but I'm kind of a Marvel completionist, so there you go. Uh, so I've got the original Avengers, or Avengers Assemble, as it's called here in the UK. This is the Best Buy uh, Blu-ray Steelbook in this kind of like um, art style. They did, they did they did two Avengers films, Civil War and Ant-Man. I haven't got those two, but um, 
I need, at least wanted to get the Avengers, and last month I got the Avengers Age of Ultron, and this month I got this one. Now, in the UK, we, from Zavi, they did the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron uh, and the first movie on 4K in this, these two books. Uh, last month I picked up the original Avengers, this month I picked up Age of Ultron. Uh, and then we have the uh, the Deadpool photo bomb um, Blu-rays. Now there's been a whole bunch of these in the UK. There's only been six, uh, but I don't really want to collect just movies for the sake of collecting films. But I do, I do, I do collect Marvel films, and so this was. Uh, I've got a couple of Marvel ones. This one is X-Men First Class, obviously with the Dev Deadpool uh, photo bomb. But they didn't get this in the UK. You got, you got non-Marvel films that, that were released. So I got went to it. I had to get these from eBay Italy, not eBay, sorry, uh, Amazon Italy. Uh, this is obviously first class. You can get Apocalypse as well, but I don't really like that film, so I couldn't be asked for that. But I did get uh, Logan, although this one's a little bit more subtle, obviously, you've got the, dead, the, the, the Deadpool arm there. Again, yeah, so that is the Deadpool photo bombed Logan. So I only got those two. The thing I'm most happy with this month is this one. Uh, this is the Blue Fans Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Steelbook. Um, now, Blue Fans are incredibly expensive. They're a Chinese company, uh, but they get a lot of the exclusive artworks. If you're not familiar with them, and I absolutely, I think this is such a great uh, cover art here. And I, I was, I was lucky to pick this up for a, a reasonable price with with another one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, it is, it is unsealed, but it's in very good condition. It's all got the, you know, the, the stickers and all of that. And uh, yeah, they were, it's only uh, down to 800 pieces. They're pretty, pretty scarce. You can get all the ones with the, the, the slips and all that, but I can't be asked to pay a load of money just for a bit of cardboard around it. And then I also picked up as a two pack, the, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, again, fantastic artwork. I'm not as keen on the film, on this, this the second movie, I've got to say, but I really enjoyed the artwork on this, and this blue, again, a blue fans cover. And, uh, yeah, so, there you go. Again, it's limited to less than a thousand worldwide. And again, you can get this, the, the current ones of the sleeves, you know, I'm, I'm past the point now where I'm going to get every version of it. I'm just happy with one, and generally, if the art is different, I'll get, you know, obviously the actual art on the actual steelbook itself. And that is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two Blue Fans. And then the final thing I picked up was a Doctor Strange um, Big Sleeve Edition, which is a uh, they've been from a, a supermarket called Tesco's in the UK. But they stopped doing them now. Um, I guess they weren't as popular as they would have hoped. And to be honest with you, I can see because they're a little bit awkward to display and, and store, uh, much like LPs. Uh, so this is the uh, Doctor Strange. I, I've only got the one copy of Doctor Strange on Steelbook, so I want to get something, something else for it as well. Again, this will probably be it though, because I don't really love this movie. Uh, anyway, that is it. That is my collection update for October. Going into November and December, it's probably going to be a lot smaller because I'm going to be buying Christmas presents and that. So I probably won't have much to show until after Christmas. So I'll probably do maybe wait until then before my next update. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know anything here that you could have liked. Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.